Okay, it's rolling. Whoops. That's what's going on again. Sorry. Sorry, gang. Give me. Here we go. Woo! Yay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. This is Lorraine Purcell, your host. I am your Fairy Godmother. Almost 30 years as a marriage, family, and child counselor and a certified life coach. I've helped thousands of people make their dreams come true. So this is my way of giving back after all that time. And I'm here with you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. I'm going to put a couple comments in so you guys can find me. All right. So we could also call this Celery Juice Monday because I'm going to make my celery juice here. Um, I did a really cool thing this morning. I'm going to wash my hands before I'm touching it. My sister's here, yay, in California at 5 a.m. You're amazing, sis. Um, yeah, I did a really cool thing today. I'm really proud of myself. Hang on. Uh, I just got off my walk. I woke up, I woke up at like 5.30. Got out of bed about 6-ish. Did my things that usually, you know, take forever and make my life go sluggish. So I got up, I went to the store, got there at 6.30, got my celery, got some lemons, had my lemon water. And then I came home and I washed today's and tomorrow's celery. So I don't have an excuse. <laughs> my trick with the celery juice is make sure I have it in the house. And now this thing of washing it in advance, I'm pretty happy about. So th this is the neat trick I'm going to do though. I got these net bags so that I don't have the plastic touching it. I'm going to put the washed celery in here and then put this inside of a plastic bag to keep it crisp. But then it's washed and it's not, you know, doing the plastic thing. So yes, most days I do the celery juice. It's just getting myself coordinated where um, I have the celery. So let's see. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, yeah, so I decided to stop bitching and moaning and get my ass out of bed and do what I need to do. And then after the live stream, I'm going to take my shower, make my heavy metal detox smoothie. I've been taking my supplements, even if I'm not 100% on my eating that day, I still will take my supplements. So I'm starting to get a little more in line and a little more in tune. And I'm really proud of myself for that. And I was thinking this morning, so I was walking and all these people were off to work. I only did that for a little while. Because I decided early on I did not want a job. <laughs> I don't like bosses. I don't like working for other people. I like being in a team. But I don't like, I don't like bosses. I don't like the experience at all. So I created my life differently. And I really, really did. And I'm just so proud of what I've done with my life. So I am a master manifester. So that's why people come here on Mondays to learn how to make their own dreams come true. We actually go into the quantum field together. and experience the glory of your dream because that's what it takes. And a lot of people don't think that that's the right way to do it. And it really is. You just, all you have to do is speak, Georgia, hey girlfriend, in Australia. Um, 
all you have to do is feel the feeling as if you're already doing it. It's brilliant because you know why it's brilliant? It's fun. It feels good. It's like when you were a little girl and you were playing dress up. <coughs> So we get to be back in our little girl state pretending. Mine lately is that I'm a multi-millionaire. It just feels so good. I love it when I buy celery and there are bug bites on it. <laughs> I don't want to eat something that bugs don't want. Because then I know I've got real food. And yesterday, I had to throw out the rest of my celery juice because when it starts turning yellow, when the celery is yellow, it's bitter. Like the outer ones, not these inner ones. These inner ones are yellow, and that's okay. But when the outer ones are yellow, or means bitter, sometimes I just can't do it, and I threw it out. I drank most of it. I drank three-fourths of it. Yeah, so I got my walk in, even though it's getting cold now. I put on my down jacket, and I went for a walk. Like, okay, we're doing this, girl. So be touching it with your dream. What is your dream? What is that desire in your heart? This is your time to pay attention to it because we are we are in the quantum field all the time. The quantum field is always, always, always in action. We just didn't know about it until a hundred years ago. We've been locked into Newtonian physics, which was, you know, everything's linear. Quantum is whatever you focus on expands. So if I'm focusing on the feeling of what it will be like to be a multimillionaire, and I'm just in it now, oh, like immediately, I just feel relaxed, deep relaxation. That's how I know it is my uh, my great desire that's defined because it, it sets me free whenever I imagine it's one bank when I make a left to to my clients um, where I just see always 750 million in that bank okay that's a good amount right there Georgia I am fantastic thank you so much for asking honey how are you are you still doing your celery juice okay strainer I use this for my strainer. I just put it over my jar. It's the one with the white lid. That's how I know it's for food versus the one that I put in the sink to catch crap. Yeah, I'm super, Georgia. Uh, so much has happened since I checked in with you last. Lots and lots and lots of good stuff. But often when the good stuff is on the way, there's a shit show in between. So we have to beware and not look at it and go, oh no, it's all falling apart. You know what? It's just, you haven't gotten to the other side yet. Does that make sense? Another thing that happens often is when we get our dream, there's a contrast that comes with it. Yes, Georgia, you're still doing celery. So it's my sister. My sister's a celery convert now. It's just good for you for so many reasons. Okay, so I'm going to take my celery juice, rinse this out first. Janine, I'm still doing my celery juice, and I'm so addicted to it that I can't go without it. Oh, that's wonderful. Georgia, I'm all right. Thank you. I'm still healing my injury. Oh, gosh, really? Oh, are you working? Okay, get my lid. I don't, how many of you were here when I um, dumped 
water or celery juice all over my computer when I was doing a live. Ah, that was no bueno. Okay, Georgia, celery juice is the best thing I could have done. Happy I do it. Yes! So proud of you, ladies. So proud of you. Okay. So, and I decided to do an absentee ballot this time because otherwise I have an excuse not to vote. And I don't know. I just kind of took to heart when people were saying, don't complain about who's in office unless you voted. So, I, I, you know, I guess there's something to that. So I don't like waiting in line at the polling booth. So I just get the absentee ballot. So I mail it in. Woo. Okay, look at this. This is what we are. Do you love this? We are a lighthouse. We are a lighthouse. We shine our light. We are a lighthouse. So, let's start breathing in. So, no work. Wow. What have you been doing? Your piano? Good morning, Sean. You've been doing your piano, Georgia? Oh, I almost shook my celery juice with the lid just ajar. Oh dear, that would have been another mess. So, cheers to everybody's health. Mmm. It's a little bitter and strong this morning, but it's okay. Hey, Janine, I realized why, A, your celery juice is so inexpensive, and B, why it tastes so good versus mine, is you're out there in the salad bowl, right? And so they don't have to transport it across the United States. like Because my celery comes from Mexico and Earthbound Farms, which is right there where, where we lived. Janine, I'm so happy and content with my simple life. I have found my place in this universe. I love my job. I love my little home. I'm just so happy and excited about my future. Yes, 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 yes. So start tapping into your desire. Start tapping into your desire. Awfully dark back there. Hang on a second. What is your desire? What is your desire? As you do this every week with me, you start to really tap into your desire. Some people don't know. I, there was a time when I didn't know what my desire was. We get so used to just doing so many things for so many people that we forget who we are. We, we lose ourselves. And the more you practice just what, what do I desire right now? What do I desire right now? And getting into that. My cat's getting spayed tomorrow. I wish I could break her from getting up on my counter. Artemia! Veronica, so good to see you again. Just want to say thank you to everyone who joins me on Mondays and Fridays. You know, you you make my day, okay? It's so fun. I love to sing and play my guitar. It makes me so happy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So your Fairy Godmother Monday is making your dream come true. So what is your ultimate dream? This is so good. What is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? Diane, good morning. So what is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? What is your ultimate dream? If you know what your dream is, go to your ultimate dream. What is, you know, dig deep. What is it that makes you sing inside? What is your dream for the future? For you, your future. 
What is your dream? <laughs> That's great. So what's our dream? Mine is for my message to go really big. Not so that I can be famous. Not to draw attention to myself. I don't give a shit about that. I just know that I have some answers for people who hear my voice. And I want it to reach everybody who hears my voice. About turning their life around. Believing in themselves. Going out to the world in a bigger way. Being visible, going through all that stuff where we want to hide and shrink and not have people notice us because we're afraid of criticism or whatever. Janine, I'm living my dream. My ultimate dream is to be financially stable. Yes, yes, yes. So, Janine, I'm going to use you as an example here. So, you're going to not see yourself in the future being financially stable you're going to feel it right now that you're financially stable so just imagine that you're financially stable that you've got twenty five thousand in the bank you've got a hundred thousand in crypto you uh are banking money every single week And just feel that or whatever it is for you whatever for me it's 750 million because <laughs> when I think that amount my, my whole viscera relax my whole you know this is the viscera this whole body right here this the torso so so tap in like that and you're gonna feel it as if you're doing it now feel it as if you're doing it now and it's it's interesting who knows if I'm gonna get to 750 million I don't care you know what's happening now is more and more and more money is coming in. Okay, so, so you set a big goal and then it starts filling in. It starts filling in. So let's, let's just first ground to Mother Earth. Bless you, Mother Earth. What do you require of us today? What do you require of us today? She's saying just be happy. I would like to teach acrylic art class. Oh, that's nice. So see yourself in a great environment, being so very appreciated, very well paid, teaching acrylic art classes. So there you are with how many students are in your classroom. So just fill that in. Be happy. Whenever we are shining our light like this, whenever we are being our lighthouse, Mother Earth is being served. Because Mother Earth is reflecting what's going on inside of, of humanity. Um, Janine, I would deliberately be more relaxed than I already am. Okay, I love that. Veronica, I love to read, especially about angels. But every day Jesus comes first. I am happy when I pray. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. All of you guys, thanks for all of your beautiful comments. Yes, 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 yes. So feel, get your message from Mother Earth, and then feel your dream. And you can keep writing them in. There's no timeline on this. Just write them in. When we put comments in, it's not so that I can get better ratings. I don't care about that. I mean, I do care about better ratings, but because um, I want more people to see my message. But when you make a comment, so I just wanted to say that. So it was like, man, put in a comment so I can get a rating. It's not like that. Um, it's you're telling universe, okay, I'm putting myself out there a little bit. I'm declaring this, right? It's kind of a big deal. I'm putting likes on everybody's things because I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you so much for joining me on Mondays and Fridays. It's so exciting to me. I love coming here and when there's a lot of people, I love to just party. All right. So get your message from Mother Earth. What does she require of you today?
Okay. And then when you're ready, come up to the bottoms of your feet. We're just going to quickly go through our body with a counterclockwise spin. I am your fairy godmother. Here I am with my magic wand and my crystal ball. And I'm telling you, your dreams will come true as you play this game of pretending as if you're in the middle of it doing it right now. Not fake it, not fake it till you make it. This is, you are there in your imagination. You are there in your imagination. Fake it till you make it was like a, uh, like from the 80s masculine energy that's not that's not what this is it's just relaxed because you know here's the thing here's the thing this is t the truth your dream your dream is what universe wants to experience through you <laughs> so just take a minute and just feel that so your dream the thing you desire is what universe wants to experience through you it says in the bible veronica you know this god gives us the desire of our hearts some people say yeah he gives them he gives us then what we want but also he or she or it puts it there your desire was put there by universe <laughs> so some people think it's selfish to have a desire uh-uh Thanks, my sister. My sister says, I love you so much, sister. Thank you, honey. I love you too so much. I'm so proud to be your sister. Thank you, honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, yes, what is your deep dream? Take, right, have the courage to dream it. Have the courage to dream it because we've been disappointed. We think if we play it small, um, you know, we'll be safe. And this is our one and only life, as far as we know. At least this one is our one and only life. Let's let's live it to the full. I want to experience my message touching millions of people. And millions of people being transformed by it. Not just touched by it, but millions of people being transformed by it. Millions of earth angels going, hey, I deserve happiness too. And, and expanding. Ah, oh, yes. So your dream will come true. What is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? What is your dream? Now let's just feel it, feel it, feel it in the quantum field. Quantum field is always here. It always was here. We just discovered it a hundred years ago. So myself as an example, fleshing out what um, my dream is. I have a team that does everything for me. I don't do anything but show up and be the talent. And they do it all. So I have no tech bullshit in my life. <clears throat> and my invest investments are just cranking out. And because I'll get to this point where there's, I won't need any more. I'm going to have a foundation for homeless women, maybe trying to get their start. But guess what? They have to go through my programs. I'm not just going to give them money or give them stuff. They have to go through my programs. They have to be graduates of my programs. So they get empowered. I'm an empowerment coach. I'm all about empowering you to be all of you. <laughs> to be more of you every single day. So I'm feeling this. I'm basking in it. I'm like laying in the bathtub of it, soaking it into my skin. Vicky, good morning, everybody. Okay, I want you to see this, Vixter. This is us. Do you love this? <laughs> this is us. We are lighthouses. Do, 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 do. You're lost. Come on over to the light. 
We are the champions. Yes, we are. Ah, oh, there's just so much good happening, you guys. So much good, so much good, so much good, so much good. Yes, 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 yes. Put your hands on your chest and on your heart, on your stomach and on your heart and say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me and my desires. I say yes to me. Put your hands on your shoulders. I have my own back. 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 Put your head, hands on your head and say, I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in me. And now put your hands on your heart and your gut again and say, God gives me the desires of my heart. 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 Thank you, 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 thank you. Now, what is your intention for this week? My intention is to stay in my vision all week long. That vision. Pretend all week long. It's fun. Who said we had to grow up and stop doing that? Who said? Bullshit! So my intention is stay in my dream as if all week long. And I have books, but guess what? I don't write them. I have ghost writers. They um, go through my programs and they outline my programs and those are my books. So I already got like uh, probably 10 programs right now. And those are my books. And my, my material just goes out, goes out, goes out, goes out, goes out, goes out, goes out. If you want to register to win some really cool prizes, go here to www.3keys2selflove.com forward slash freebie. Wait, freebie. Okay, that's, this isn't for the prizes. Wait, how come this isn't going? What's going on? Okay, so hold on. I don't have that link. <laughs> I mean, I have it, but it's like way up. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get this. But here, I'm going to put this one in. www.3keys2 2selflove.com forward slash freebie dash affirmations. And get the um, the really cool printout. I should print one out so I can show you guys. Printout of the five most important affirmations that I have found in my, that help me personally, and then I've gone on to help my clients with. Prayers and peace to the universe. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so go there and grab it. And my invitation is to print out several and put them all over your house so you can remember who you are. It's beautiful. It's that, you can see it in the comments. It's those, uh, oh, I think I'm wearing the same sweater I wore in that photo shoot. That's interesting. That's so interesting. Okay, so it's pink and rose colored and it's beautiful. You can print it and put it all over your house. So let's draw a card. What is your intention for the week? Go ahead and put it in the comments. I have three keys on my, I have the three keys. Oh, great. So you have the three keys or do you have the affirmations sheet? Is it the three keys to self-love or is it the affirmations sheet? 
Yay, Vixter. Okay, where's our card? Where's our card? Ooh, I'm going to say it's like five from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The Great Severing. Ooh, I have not seen this one. The Great Severing. The Great Severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Uh, Georgia, calm is my intention. Okay, good. That's great, Vicki. Um, the three keys to self-love are really important. <laughs> uh, let's see, Vicki, help me with this. Um, I wrote it, like, I can't remember it sometimes. To have fun and love. Yes, Sean. So just see yourself in that, basking in that. Okay, so I know the last one is love yourself enough to walk away. Uh, the first one is to, oh, yeah, the first one. Oh, this is so important. Only hear, be around, speak, see what makes you feel good. Key number two, that's key number one. Key number two is to tap into your feelings. In other words, is this feeling good? Is this feeling fun? Is this feeling uplifting? Am I feeling honored? And key number three is to love yourself enough to walk away from the bullshit. Thanks, it's been nice talking with you. I'll see you later. Gotta go. Or not picking up the phone for that person that just likes to eat, 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 eat. Okay. The Great Severing. Here we go. This is Rebecca Campbell's beautiful work. The Great Severing. Gee. The Great Severing. I've never drawn this card before. Okay, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. This is a shadow card, one that may feel confrontational. Don't be afraid. It's here to bring to the surface anything that's standing in the way of letting love in. The warring planet of Mars is our constant reminder that it's important to soften, forgive, and find our way back to love. There are many things in the human experience that make it difficult for our heart and soul to stay open to the never-ending source of love. We're all wounded, and our unconscious wounds inflict wounds on others. It can feel like the never-ending dance we can never escape. If we aren't careful, before long we'll see the world as a scary, dangerous place where fear and anxiety roam free. And you guys know we have an absolute choice in this. We can either look at the, you know, blah, 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 blah going on out there. Or we can focus on beauty. We can focus on what's good in our life. And guess what? Quantum law is that whatever we focus on expands. So if we're focusing on crisis, worry, fear, that's what we're going to get more of. And you'll notice more shit show starts to happen. But if we're like, mm, no, uh, there was something I was like kind of griping about when I was walking this morning and I'm like, nope, let's just focus on the trees. So I just was like focusing on the trees. Just change your focus, change your awareness. That expands more and more beauty, more and more beauty. If this card surfaces, it could be for two reasons. Firstly, for you to acknowledge the difficult emotions, situations, conflicts, wounds, and fears. Key number two, honor your feelings. If you're feeling like, ugh. See if you can turn that around, but don't stay in an abuse situation at all. Uh-uh, ever, ever, ever. Uh, acknowledge difficult emotions, situations, conflicts, wounds, and fears that are causing you pain and anxiety. And secondly, you find yourself, you find your way back to love. But get the hell away from anybody who isn't honoring you, uh, isn't respecting you. Um... Let them play in their world for a while. You don't need to be a part of it. If it's a partner, seriously considering, consider moving on. Your children will be happy when you are happy. They will not be happy if they're watching you in an abuse situation. And you're showing them 
how to live their life. They will then pick an abuser. Not always, but I mean, this will be a wound, a life wound for them. So get the hell away. Go to a woman's shelter. Janine and I had to go there. Remember Janine? Uh, and they will direct you on what your next steps are. <clears throat> Where am I? When we are hurt, it's normal to close our heart to the world, to let the painful experience confirm the agony of separation in earthly life. Soften to find your way back to love anyway. When fear, anxiety, and paranoia paralyze you, it's normal to want to hide away from others in the world. Come out of your cave and soften your heart anyway. We're all innocent children spinning our way around the world. Find a way to see the innocence in all people, especially yourself. Let's just do that right now. Find a way to assign innocence to all people, especially to ourselves. Everyone is doing the best they know how with the wounds that they're dealing with or haven't dealt with. Star Seed Soul Inquiry. How are you cutting yourself off from love? Just ask yourself that question right now. How are we cutting ourselves off from love? How are you cutting yourself off from love? How am I cutting myself off from love? Immediately, I just felt this deep pit in my uh, like uh, ovary area. <laughs> uh, not deserving. Okay, so how are we cutting ourselves off from love? Oh. How can you soften toward those who have hurt you? Um, you know, it takes practice, you guys. It really does. And, uh, for example, if you can just assign positive intent to everybody and know that they are doing their best. I have a certain person in my life who's been in my life for a long time and has uh, always been a source, not always, but an often source of pain. Um, they're they're going to uh, have some medical stuff done. And I'm going to send them a I get well card and I'm going to send a text. You know, it's like, let them think what, they're, what they want to think. That's not my business. I do what I need to do to live with myself. And I choose to send love to this person. Vicki, always remember that anxiety you think might be yours is the negative vibes of others being thrown out from them. Woo! Stand tall, smile, be kind, and enjoy and be grateful. Shine your light, which will reflect onto others. Brilliant, 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 Vixter. Yes, 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 a million times yes. Diane, have you seen the show Made on Netflix? It's really good. It's about getting to a woman's shelter and pulling herself up. I have not seen it, but that is excellent. I love that. So everyone take that recommendation. Um, yeah, you know, we do what we've got to do. And in my travels as a counselor for almost 30 years, I've helped a lot of women get out of shit shows. And here's the thing. As earth angels, we've got sucker printed on our forehead that um, narcissistic men, narcissistic women gravitate toward because they know we will do their, their selfish bidding. Uh, Janine, the women's shelter was so amazing and so helpful. Remember, sis, not so, not too long ago when I let go of 40 plus year of that 40 plus year thing, I felt so much better when I let go. Yes, 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 yes. Denise is, or Diane's saying, check it out. Uh, let's see. Vicki, yes, I have a great teacher, right, Lorraine? <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> You know, because you guys, I, I, if I can pull myself out of the shit show that was my life, you, anybody can. I will always say that, you guys. Only thing special about me was I kept going. I'm like, motherfucker, you're not going to get me. Life, you know, that, that, all that stuff. That negative emotion, that depression, you're not going to get me. I'm going to win. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to be as happy as the other people I see around me. Vicki, and I teach to others today. That is so beautiful. That's the best compliment I could get. Oh, Janine says she's seen the movie and she loves it. Okay, babies, love you. Thank you so much for being here with me.
when I say babies, I'm not saying that you're a baby. I'm calling you like baby. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with me. New people, seasoned veterans. <laughs> yeah, Vicky says my favorite motherfucking word. You know what? Because... That is a motherfucker, and I love to swear. Um, when I was a little girl, my dad turned me over his knee for talking like a sailor. I've just always sworn. <laughs> I just, you know, so just the way it be here. So um, you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back um, on Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern for Body Talk Friday, where we actually go into our body and we heal it. We heal our body. We heal our body. You all mean the world to me. Diane says, see you Friday. Vicky says, XOXO. Everybody have an excellent week. Uh, Veronica, love and thanks for, thank you for wisdom. Yes, thank you so much. Vicky, me too. Angel with a sailor tongue, right? What can we do? It just comes out. Because uh, you know what? It's the only thing that, when we're being authentic, we're not trying to get a reaction. We're being authentic. Uh, I missed a couple up here. Uh, okay, uh, Diane, see you Friday. Yes. Okay, hold on. Diane, have a great week. Excellent. Everyone have an excellent week. Diane, see you Friday. Yeah, 8 a.m. Eastern. Whew. Yes, yes, yes. It's been a great time. Thanks for helping it be a great time, you guys. Appreciate it so much. And I will see you Friday, if not before. Mwah! If you haven't joined my Facebook group, my free Facebook group called The Confident Dreamer, I'm going to drop the link here and copy it and paste it. And I'm going to pin them both. So here is The Confident Dreamer Facebook group. This is my free Facebook group. Oh, there it goes. The Confident Dreamer. Pin it. Okay. And then that one with the freebie. I'm going to pin that too. But those of you on IG, if you want to join my Facebook group, I don't, I don't know if you see these comments where I can pin it. Um, so there we go. Just search The Confident Dreamer. That's my person, my private Facebook group. And uh, it's free. Just request to join. I will, I will accept you. We will accept you, I should say. Since my team does all that. <laughs> like that. I wanted a team doing everything for me because I do not enjoy tech one little bit. George and Mike say hello to everybody. Yes. Okay, so Vicki and I have a thing about Magic Mike and George Clooney. <laughs> When we do our private joke about George and Mike, that's what we are talking about. Okay, loves, thanks for making it such a fun time, and I'll see you Friday, if not before. Woo! Adios. La, la, la.